What's up, everybody? This is going to be a product review on these Kenya dolls that are out. These new Kenya dolls that are out. And I really want to shout out, do a, give a shout out to Ruth, who is the creator of the Kenya doll, of the original Kenya doll. And this is the box I had from my, this is the back of the box I um got from my old 1993 Kenya. I cut, I saved the back of the box and taped it to my wall. Because this is a beautiful sight to see when I walk in my room. Because at this time, black dolls were hard to find. And then, when Kenya came out, she was an overnight success. But, this is what she looks like today. And this is the 25th anniversary one. That I bought at TJ Maxx Friday before last. And, and I'm glad they gave, I'm glad they made this one and gave her the original. Um, They made her box look like the old school 1992 one. This says the original 1992 Kenya on the box. And this says 25 years growing up proud. And this says American by the sign. And I really like that they made a box like this because it looks just like the 1992 Kenya box. Lady, I told you I was coming. And on the back of the box, it, got Ken it has Kenya holding a balloon holding balloons that said 25th anniversary and it tells us every day she comes with it says and it says going strong says 1992 and back to the dolls this was the only skin tone my the my local tj maxx had i mean nearest tj maxx had and i'm pretty sure she may come in many other skin tones but I seen two of these there and I went back to TJ Maxx on Wednesday. The second one I seen Friday was gone. But they had plenty of the other golden glitzy Kenya dolls with their skin tone. But back to these dolls. There's also Kenya and Baby Kiara and this is uh, um this is one of the ones that came out last year when they revamped the line. And this is the beautiful hairstyle of Kenya. And she comes with two rollers. This is how they was in the box. Uh, two gold ribbons. The pick. The beater. The little rubber bands. And the hair lotion and beads. And each Kenya doll usually comes with a hairstyle guide. Similar to this one and this is the original 1992 hairstyle guide and, and when I got my 1993 Kenya this and the lotion was one of the two things I was excited about when I opened that one and I've been wanting to see all the hairstyles in this on hairstyle guide and the one that came with the 25th anniversary one was the one that came with the beautiful hairstyle in Kenya dolls and they show us all these fun little hairstyles in there that we can do on Kenya. And even your daughter hair if you even your own daughter's hair. And the one I like is um right here. This will be cute if this was on the other side as well, but you probably can't do that that way too. And on the back of this one. It shows us some of the same thing this one does, but and it says wash Kenya's hair and sing her lovely curls return. It depends on how her hair it depends on how curly her hair is. Whoops. Cause when I got this one, her hair was kind of straight slash wavyish. Like the ones in this instructions. But when I got this one, she had curls but they was looser and like they were hanging down. And then I and the reason I got achieved these tighter curls with both of these dolls is I'll be right back to get the stings. And the reason I turned this straight slash wavy hair to these beautiful tight curls is these small foam rollers. You can get these at any beauty supply store. Sometimes they may have them cheaper than this, but at my local one they was one that was a dollar forty nine cent. And I usually buy like two packs of these at a time, but I got some more in my own. And this little hair thing, I keep all the hair accessories for my dolls in. And I got one of these half, half open, but 
already open, but it's still most of them in there. And these rolls will work if you want her candy to have bigger, looser curls. So, the reason I use these rolls is because I want a candy to have smaller, tighter curls. So, that's the look I was going for. And if your candy doll doesn't have enough beads, you can always buy more from the beauty supply store and family dollar for a dollar. Because I bought these for family dollar for a dollar. And it is 250 plus a bead or if case you. You lose the video, your can you come where it breaks. And here's extra if you can always get extra off bands from stores like Walmart and Dollar Tree. Also the Dollar Store. And the and another helpful tip is you if you if you run out of her hair lotion, you can just use any leave in conditioner it will work just fine. And this is conditioner and mostly water, but as you can see when I made this it was a full bottle and I've been using this on all the dots when it's almost gone so can't both of the uh, Kenya is normally worth fifteen to twenty dollars but it depends on which store you get her from and I know the one thing I know is about the different stores that sell Kenya dolls is some of the dolls quality can be different than others depending on where you buy them at especially the ones from Rite Aid and City Trends are definitely different quality than the ones from TJ Maxx and Burlington and Marshall, so be on the lookout for that. And here is baby Kiara. And this is I think the golden glitzy Kiara. And she come with a little hairstyle guys, some little barrettes out of pick, and a little baby bottle. That says baby on it. And the twenty fifth anniversary Kenya comes with beads. Similar and well, not whether well, not similar, these are more similar in color to the original candy that came out in '92. Because my um 1993 candy came with some of the same beads in these colors, and this has been good. They get added these beads with the 25th anniversary one and these rubber bands because these are very similar to the 90s candy hair accessories. But either way, either is still good. And the 25th anniversary one came with these clear hair elastics and these little ribbons and, and both of these Kenya dolls come with these rollers too and like as always Kenya does come in three different skin tones and I'm still gonna try to hunt down a darker skin Kenya doll from this line but I know that those the darker skin Kenyas are hard to find and and I gotta think where can I go to buy one at a reasonable price because I don't want to pay too much on eBay because I've seen some of the darker skin newer ones on there but at the end of the day I'm glad Ruth reached out to me sent me all these um Kenya dolls I got yesterday and I told her I'm going to try to plan on reviewing everything and she also sent me some she also sent me plenty of clothes with them and this is one of the ones I wanted when this line came back out last year, but the air you near me didn't get the ones wearing these clothes. So I was I'm very thankful she sent me this one. And I was debating on buying a baby Kiara too, because these are normally fourteen ninety nine at Burlington. And they also sell these at City Trends for ten bucks, so And the ones I seen at City Trends have the hair looks different than the ones at Burlington and TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And the one thing I'm glad about about all these dolls is they come with the little cute hairstyle guys that show us all the fun hairstyles we can do. And I and to Ruth, I am so thankful that you invented the Kenya dolls because this is one of these toys I wanted as a child, but I told myself I wanted to design toys. I wanted to at least design one line of Kenya dolls. And that's why I'm going to try to talk to Ruth about when I DM her again on Instagram. Because me designing a line of Kenya dolls has always been a lifetime goal for me from the, since I was young. And this video is about to end. But to Ruth again, thanks. Because you... 
you gave African American children a line of positive um line of doll black dolls that have pretty brown warm brown skin, bright brown eyes and and um big bold bright positive smiles. And I hope Kenya is here to stay for a long, long time, you know. And to everybody, I said highly suggest you go buy one of these dolls for your ch daughter or son if he likes dolls. But because these are these dolls are created to represent children of color in a positive way, from their fashions and their skin tones and hair colors and. No, that and the hair play pattern is similar. Is um, just like little black girls today. And can you will always be a doll line that I like because this is one of the first doll lines I seen growing up with dolls with black dolls with lighter skin. And the cool thing about can you is she, she's cheaper than she normally be, and she. Is great quality. That's what I gotta say is to everybody. I suggest you buy Kenya because can there are limit there are a few black doll lines that represent black children in a positive way, but I feel like Kenya is one of them. And that's all I gotta say is who knows what's in store for Kenya next year, but this year started out pretty good with Kenya. And yeah, this is it for this video.